Hi Scooter fans! Here we are again. I've, I've uh, pretty much wrecked another scooter rear axle. Um, so uh, the kind scooter man from Active Days Mobility has lent me another scooter, different brand, to try out and see how I get on and see whether it's a bit more robust than the ones I had previously. I will let you know how I get on. So here we are. It is a pride something a cult cult pursuit. There we go. It's a nice blue colour. Much prefer blue to red. Um, it feels so much bigger than the Kimco, but actually it fits in my little space in the garage there with quite a bit of room around it. So I think it's just an optical illusion. It feels bigger when you're sitting on it. So let's get kitted up and go out and give it a bit of a test drive. Okay, so I've got my stick and my sun brolly in my backpack on the back i've got my drink with me a bit of advertising for active days although his telephone number's not right on that um are we not quite fully charged yet but almost there and then oh, i have to put this on the front because i'm missing the front storage and it is a bit of a pain when i do my videos but uh, we'll see how we get on with it as we go along Okay, let's start the engines and we'll see what happens. Already this is a pain in the neck, but let's see how we get on. We are back from a little test run with this new scooter. Um, feels really sturdy, actually feels like a good old beastie. Um, it's got um, not pneumatic tyres, what are they called? Solid tyres, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, unfortunately, even with the suspension, that's killing my back, so I couldn't go very far. Um, so it'd be interesting to see what it would be like with pneumatic tyres, give it a bit more uh, spring rather than crashing on my spine, that really does hurt. Um, other than that, it seems to have got a good speed to it. It's, uh, it's turning circles amazing, and that's really, really good. Um, I would need to have my mirrors fitted properly. The only downside, and I know it's not a mechanical thing, but for me, it's quite tricky, is the storage. I've got used to having the front uh, storage area and also it hasn't got the um, the wraparound oh, why is it I can't find a word for these things um, I wanted to call it a fender but it's not really so it wouldn't protect me from the winter and the wind particularly well uh, so that's the only downside that I can see I don't need to be Um, but other than that, I think I think if I if oh, I'd have to talk to the scooter man, obviously. But if we can make these changes, it might possibly work because it does feel like a really good sturdy scooter. But I'll have to see, and I'll keep you posted. I have slow transit constipation. Uh, it's part of my MS. Causes of slow transit constipation. The gut has its own nervous system called the enteric nervous system. 
it controls our peristaltic waves without us having to think about it and for some reason this nervous system stops working properly. So when the bolus of stool arrives in the large bowel, the enteric nerves should detect it and start the process of peristalsis, but for some reason this doesn't happen. Obviously, I'm no GP or specialist. I am just doing a little video of my experience and some of the things that help me. I've put a link in the description box for the website that I've used. The lady who runs the website is medically trained. She's run her own NHS um, constipation clinics and she's very knowledgeable. It's definitely worth uh, clicking on the link and having a little look. There are two types of fibre, soluble and insoluble. Insoluble fibre bulks out the stool, makes it harder and drier. In a normal working gut, this bigger sized stool activates the enteric nerves causing the peristalsis to work. But when the peristaltic waves are not functioning, a stool full of insoluble fibre just sits in the gut and because it is bulkier and firmer, it is much harder for the gut to move it along, so it stays in the bowel even longer and becomes even drier. Then by the time it arrives in the rectum, it's a monster to try to pass. Soluble fibre keeps the stool softer, wetter, not as bulky so it can pass through a bowel that isn't working properly easier, and also as it arrives in the large bowel wetter, it doesn't end up so hard and bulky when it finally arrives in the rectum. Some of the foods high in soluble fibre, oats milled linseeds broccoli, Brussels sprouts pulses, but not chickpeas, some fruits, banana, apple, pear, orange, berries, passion fruit peeled root vegetable, you will find a more exhaustive list if you do some research on the internet. You will realize that many grains and veg have a mixture of soluble and insoluble fiber. Go for the foods that have the greater percentage of soluble fiber. So here are some of the things that I use to help me. Um, apricots prunes i also use something called psyllium husk natural soluble fiber and i'll sprinkle this on my meals you can put it in your uh, yogurts or water etc i hope this has been informative and useful Please don't forget to click on the link. The website has lots and lots of very good information on it.